Wow, making a YouTube video when you haven't done it in a while is, is kind of tricky. But um, as 2022 draws to a close, uh, I'm going to just make a little video reflecting on, you know, my thoughts on um, sort of my time here on, on YouTube. Although I will also be posting this up on Fediverse channels as well. Uh, but uh, this is like maybe about the 12th-ish year that I've been on YouTube. And it's one of those years where I really haven't done as much as I have in previous years. This was probably one of my slowest years uh, to date since, since starting on the platform at all. Uh, I've had this channel, I believe, since about 2013, but I have had a couple sort of starting and not really get going uh, before then. This is like the first channel that I did where it felt like I'd found a rhythm. Um, but I also, of course, make content over on Project Chronicle, which I've done actually more so on this channel than I uh, on that channel than I have on this one. Uh, it's just that it doesn't tend to be tech related videos and it tends to be videos that I make with friends. Speaking of friends, this is in sorts a video response to took it home to jenny um now jenny runs a youtube channel uh that uh, for, for 10 years actually this is her 10th year and she recently put out a reflection video uh looking at why she's moving away from youtube and i'd like to talk a little bit about that because that is interesting so that's how like my reflection in 2022 is going to be um the short answer as to why i haven't put up many videos is largely down to the fact of time um both work and personal commitments have you know they've they've sort of taken priority this year over youtube um i'd like to do more creative stuff in in 2023 i feel that i was distracted with other stuff and and you know life's priorities change from you know day to day but I think for 2023, I'd like to spend some more time just like being creative in general. Uh, some of that's going to be on YouTube. I'm going to try and do a bit of get back into live streaming because that was always fun uh, and it didn't require too much in the way of preparation and research as well. Um, uh, and also like maybe stuff on the Fediverse as well. The Fediverse, of course, have taken off a lot this year. Me and Drew have talked about it on the podcast show that we've got which is actually being posted up onto the uh, Chris Ware digital channel as well as on Fediverse accounts. And um, and that's been a lot of fun as well, actually. And um, I'm hoping that the uh, the Freebooters podcast is, you know, it's going to be around for a while. I really enjoyed um, doing those kind of things with Drew. Uh, and um, and yeah, like I hope, like you know, I'll do more creative stuff going into 2023. I suppose in you know lots of different avenues. I haven't been that quiet. Um, I've got a photo blog over on the Fediverse. Um, I haven't really updated my 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 plants blog uh, either. So. But that's really just because my plants have been largely maintenance. I've got very few new ones on. Um, so maybe I'll, uh, I'll I'll catch up with that one. But uh, I definitely have not been uh, particularly uh, regular on, on YouTube or Twitch. And, um, and, and I think that um, is something that I would like to sort of change a little bit, kind of more so on Twitch, interestingly enough, or actually live streaming. I know that some people watching this are going to suggest that I move over to, you know, I self host streaming on own cloud and, um, Hamish, uh, who you may have seen me stream with before, uh, he streams from, uh, own cloud uh, and he has a really good time with it as well. In fact, he, lo he loves it so much more over Twitch. You don't have to worry about all kinds of like, uh, copyright strikes and, and stuff like that. Like you moderate your own platform, uh, you, get to make the call that uh, that matters and um and there's no adverts and stuff like that you know so he runs it off i you know one of his servers and um and 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 we've only ever seen like great success with it um it's so easy for someone that that it it doesn't focus around this mad necessity to have an account for everything you can just join in and watch the stream and chat um and and the moderation tools work with that like it's 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 really good own cloud is fantastic but i, I kind of want to get into the rhythm of live streaming before i look at at own cloud um you know just because it is like a substantial investment of time resources energy all of that so if i get into the rhythm of streaming on twitch or something and uh and I want to do something a little more self-hosted, uh, then maybe I'll, I'll start looking at, at own cloud. But um, but until then, I think I'm going to do a little bit more on Twitch. I don't know where I'm going on on, on YouTube, all things considered. So I've been here for about 12 years. Um, this year, uh, like, yes, I have had other priorities, which is where, where, why I've not been posting so much. But in all honesty, if I was enthusiastic about YouTube, I'd have made time. I'd have done more to, to do it. Um, so I think in 
particularly with this like Chris Ware digital channel, I think I, I may have fallen a little bit in a rut. And I think maybe uh, the, the Freebooters show with, uh, with Drew is going to sort of maybe sort of ease out of that. Um, because I kind of feel like when I'm making content for the internet, I like the low fidelity stuff. There was a time when I tried uh, more editing, more like effects. Um, I've you know got videos on this channel with, with green screens and stuff like that. And in reality, I want something that's a little bit more, you know, personal like something that that um that is, is sort of true to what it is and um and really just like the essence of the message and the essence that that what i want to to make is is fundamentally a message to you in you know and, and i don't want to dress it up into anything that it's not um and i also feel that like nowadays one of the greatest things that social media can do is just like you know uh connect you with people and and it's not you know if there was too much in the way of editing and overproduction and all that kind of stuff uh then then i feel that that would get in the way uh also of course um i one of the things i love about low fidelity content in general uh be it streaming or video or anything like that uh is that it normalizes a low barrier to entry so that you can get more people making more content without having to worry too much about using expensive equipment or anything like that people can run with ideas and see where it gets them and and um and that that, that feels kind of um you know more meaningful i suppose so um but yeah and, and, and i quite yeah so low fidelity stuff it just in general is something that i find very appealing very authentic as well um and also very like sort of sustainable from like a money standpoint like it's it's never gonna be a problem for me to afford to make a youtube video or anything like that or even you know anything that, that goes on the fediverse which is which is kind of cool so yes but really the question is what why you know, like, like, why are so many people like just losing interest with with YouTube? And I'm talking more about like smaller creators, creators about about my, my size here. And um, you know, Jenny says she's moving away from YouTube and she's moving to Twitch. Um, I know that um, that Hex is probably looking or thinking about like reducing YouTube, and I think that's been a long time coming. I think he's often uh, thought about uh, winding down YouTube and has like winded down Twitch a, a fair bit. So. Uh, it's looking like he's going to be uh, focusing more on on his writing, um, and um, and I know like quite quite a slew of of YouTubers who are looking at other platforms, um, and it might be because this is what YouTube's become, right? The YouTubers that I'm watching, they're not moving away from the platform in droves, in waves, like we're seeing from a particular other social media platform. Um, we're seeing people just drip away. Like, it's just like YouTube's just kind of not fun anymore and we're all realizing it at different rates. Uh, or like YouTube is becoming a place where produced content is made. Like it's going to be a slightly more um, like Netflixy Disney Plus thing, but a little bit more closer to the community, but still kind of, or like a little bit more like what Bandcamp might be to Spotify in terms of like YouTube might be for like smaller, more independent studios, but studios nevertheless, whereas your independent creator, such as yours truly, might look to something like Instagram or Twitter or uh, and even videos on Twitter or even some, you know, like, like, uh, I, well, I suppose TikTok, I'm too old for TikTok in my opinion, but like, you know, things like that. You know that's where you're more sort of like your personal sort of vloggers are although that seems like a very outdated term nowadays so it does kind of feel like as time goes by like almost it's like the the like when i started youtube it wasn't something you generally admitted to in day-to-day -day conversation that you made youtube videos people thought you were a bit weird now uh, there have been jobs that I've applied for where i've put my youtube channel on my cv to, as a you know like to demonstrate well, I think it demonstrates quite a lot about me. First of all, that I can build a channel, uh, it, that I can, you know, that I'm confident in front of a camera, uh, that I have some, you know, like knowledge that would likely be out of the job I was outside of the realms of the job I was applying for, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. And the more like legitimate my YouTube channel seems to be, uh, the the less YouTube feels like it's a platform for single. Uh, you know, like one person teams on, you know, this kind of stuff.
uh, and it feels like people like us of course as well are moving away to other platforms but twitch seems to be a lot where a lot of people go and where a lot of people who like have these like circles of friends and sort of like small micro communities will will hang out um would be on twitch streams which is probably why i'm looking to lean it even though i have no love for amazon no real love for um for, for the adverts of twitch as a platform uh, and to be honest pragmatically i'd probably rather stream on youtube i think um uh but you know uh own, own cloud would be the, 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 the i think the top preference providing it was just like as easy as the rest right um but uh you know we'll work that bit out as we go uh, if i can get into a rhythm of streaming that's going to be all right because it gets harder the longer you don't do it um and there are a few games i want to get through a few games i want to play i want to maybe do a little bit more with open source games that's certainly going to be the focus uh i have um opened up a new gaming channel which is going to focus entirely on open well yeah pretty much entirely on open source games then maybe some sort of like you know mentions of, of non-open source games and stuff like that but on on the whole it's really going to be a focus on uh, on open source games so i'll put a link to that in the in the description if it's not already linked on the channel somewhere or yada 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 um so so yeah and um this year i have done a, a fair number of videos with the project chronicle team where we did a uh, podcast on the tv show house of the dragon that was a lot of fun um and uh, and i really love working on that channel and i think i'm gonna see if i can sort of uh do more stuff on the old po project chronicle channel in in the new year as well because that's that's kind of fun and that's making content admittedly something that i know is not going to be hugely popular but it's just so fun to make and it's so fun to to have a little creative project with your friends it just kind of you know it's kind of uh so you know i'm going to be focusing on a lot of projects that i'm going to be working on because i enjoy working on them and that's going to sort of you know reignite my creativity um i would like to to develop uh stuff on the fediverse you know content for the fediverse so there'll be certainly a lot more fediverse exclusive videos uh where you're not going to be able to pick them up anywhere else um and that's going to be kind of cool uh i've done a few of those uh this year and uh, and i've had some some really good fun and i really like the responses actually uh sort of going on on fediverse and, and peer tube and all that other you know and, and, and all the other kind of stuff i've even put videos up on on mastodon itself as well as uh, short ones and um overall the comments that i get from video content that goes up in the fediverse uh get so many so much more in the way of replies and comments and like thoughtful comments and shared responses and all that kind of stuff um then then youtube like a youtube video nowadays i'm kind of surprised how you know few comments kind of get left it just seems to be something that people don't do here over uh, do on youtube so much anymore or you know perhaps the content that i'm making doesn't lend itself to to comments as well um but even on something like freebooters where i'd expect like quite a few comments on because we're talking about a range of issues in a pretty casual kind of way um there are many 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 more uh, replies on the freebooters episodes on where they've been posted in the fediverse than where they've been posted on youtube so it could very well be that like content that i'm creating in terms of stuff that i want to be uh more of a dialogue rather than just a production then uh production <laughs> uh then you know it might be the fediverse might actually be a genuine natural home for it where that could kind of be the place where it does best because the fediverse is a more social place like the fediverse isn't really it doesn't seem like it's the kind of place where it's it's where you broadcast to an audience it's much more the place where you'd have a, an open conversation and um could very well be across you know different different forms of media as well video audio notes all that kind of stuff oh, I, well it wouldn't it be great if they brought in audio notes for mastodon i think that'd be amazing although think of the server load that being said um yeah i think like you know when it comes to making stuff that you don't necessarily you know want to to make as a as a as a production but rather as, as as dialogue then yeah the fediverse would be like a kind of natural home for that so there could very well be a lot more fediverse exclusive videos uh going well i'm almost certain about it and often that's because they when i'm you know make a, a video about something that i want to make a video about that has not really fits into one of the themes of my existing youtube channels 
um it, the fediverse is a nice place for it because the fediverse is a bit more chaotic it's a bit more disorganized it's a bit like you can throw something out the door and it's not gonna you know tick off the algorithm it's not you know you you, you can post something and you know that it's not going to be a risk to your your channel uh, which is kind of a dumb way of thinking about it and i hate thinking about it that way um and in reality i'm thinking about it less and less like this channel loses subscribers month on month this channel is not growing it is shrinking um and you know i hope that it evens out somewhere kind of nice um but like at the end of the day um it kind of doesn't feel like youtube is the future anymore it kind of feels a little bit like it's facebooked like it's found a place it's found its spot which is quite broad quite big tent and and it's just there it's like part of part of the internet now like facebook is facebook a lot of like uh, local stuff you'll find on facebook a lot of local groups or like you know swap meets and and local events and you know marketplaces all that kind of stuff that that tends to be like facebook's realm nowadays at least in uh, the uk uh, i don't know about elsewhere and you know like yeah uh there's a lot of um whatsapp groups that also you might be thinking of you know are a place that could be replacing like a lot of social media because um because i think a lot of people uh or you know different segments of people people are realizing they kind of want different things which is why it's kind of scattering a little bit reddit's probably had a fair sub substantial resurgence as a result of the big changing landscapes of social media now and like despite like all of the 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 big change in tides when it comes to social media throughout the year and the number of people that have just been joining mastodon and and the fediverse has been the, you know the biggest couple of waves that we've had of new people joining the the platform to date um it still feels like like it's it's not in jeopardy um and i know that people from time to time come up with big uh, uh worrying predictions about how the future of of the fediverse is going to survive big companies looking at, uh, you know getting interested or or big celebrities getting interested or anything like that and and really at the end of the day i it it will be what it will be but it it still feels like it's it's stable it's not going to get you know bought up by a billionaire and tanked overnight it's not necessarily, you know, it's not going to get assets stripped, and um, and and I think we'll find a way to 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 make it work and keep it ours, uh, and that's not necessarily, you know, going to be a, a smooth road. It's it's a lot easier said than done, but yeah, in reality, uh, I think um, I think I think the Fediverse is kind of worth pursuing because it is the essence of, of free software, it is the essence of an open internet, um, and I think that it it also. Uh, doesn't necessarily have the same incentives and same sort of, uh, you know, conditions that you get from the corporate media, particularly when it comes to algorithmic video sorting or algorithmic, algorithmic feed sorting, because I think that worries a lot of people that you can, you can, you know, you have this creative project and all of that good work can kind of be undone if you don't play by the rules of a particular game that doesn't, inform you of of many of the rules that it's it's choosing to enforce so i think a more sort of organic looking internet is 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 what the fediverse seems to be and and i, and I feel that that's you know and, and and the algorithmic algorithm is like the number of people boosting your your particular uh you know whatever it is um and i think that's that's you know that, that feels like home so you know i said that quite a few times over the, the course of this year and and the years before it but um every year i do more and more in in the fediverse and and every year um the more i want to keep keep making there um and yeah like fediverse content typically gets you know it's where where, where people engage with a lot of the content more they leave comments and short thoughts and and, and um and, and and where there's a conversation around it uh that's a, like an organic conversation it's not something that's facilitated even within the thread of a comment section but also you know it spins off into you know mastodon and everything else really seamlessly and it feels like you know it's a it's an organic conversation it's it's human it's sincere and and um and that's good so yes i'm not really going to be prioritizing chrisware digital in the new year other than to to keep posting maybe freebooters and anything that sort of takes my fancy that is tech but uh definitely look at following me in the fediverse if you want to see stuff the the the, the full range of what i'm creating also follow project chronicle because that's kind of um 
kind of fun uh check out my youtube channel ludo chris for all the open source gamey stuff and um i'll put a link to twitch and all the other socials uh in in the description if you if you want to see what i'm up to in in the in the new year and um yeah also check out my website chrisware.wales and that will be uh you know an up-to-date place with all of the uh all of the stuff that I make and a few other interesting bits and pieces that you uh, you might enjoy reading. Um, also, of course, um, sometimes when I think about, uh, you know, making content that is completely free from any kind of sort of uh, sort of shackles, I suppose, in, in that regard, uh, you always then start looking at things like self-hosting. And whilst self-hosting videos is quite a big commitment, uh, it's quite a lot of resources. Um, and it, uh, and certainly when, like, if you have a video that sort of takes off or anything like that, then, you know, your resources are going to be quite badly st um, strained. However, that being said, when it comes to a lot of the stuff that I make in terms of, like, discussion, uh, you know, like podcasts and things like that, uh, it's not that much in the way of... Uh, file size and bandwidth and all that kind of stuff to host opus files like some like audio files similar to mp3 but with a free and open source codec although mp3 of course is free now and um and that might just be a good place to host some of the content i've done that before i've also done it on a gemini capsule um i'm probably not going to be bringing back the gemini capsule anytime soon just really because it's just an expense that doesn't really sort of um help me at the moment i guess um, but I will definitely be keeping my website updated and there'll probably be some, some audio files and stuff on that, which I think is like a great way to kind of get the benefit from a lot of stuff that I do with video without actually having to, to worry about the hosting and the bandwidth too much. So I consider it like audio to be, you know, like sort of podcasty things to be a nice little middle ground. They're quite good when it comes to, you know, you can, you can send, um, them in, in WhatsApp or, or, you know, through, you know send them to other people you can send them as links you can you know like it, it works great um so that's kind of good um so yeah like i said i'm going to look at uh, at a number of ways in in and uh, sort of diversifying a lot of what i'll do and sort of looking at probably uh streaming again i think that's going to be quite fun um so uh yeah um i think that's about it from me today uh thank you very much for watching this has been one of those wonderfully old school vlogs please feel free to leave thoughts down in the comment section below if you want like and, and let me know what what more kind of stuff you want to see because i am kind of still on the lookout for ideas um if you want more videos like these that are a bit rambling and 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 you know old school ones that you used to see on this channel like four or five years ago let me know you know and and i'll see what i can do right like i see if it it, it, it works into to one of what i'm talking about these days as well of course a lot of the, even the tech stuff that i talk about these days is sort of fediverse related so making it fediverse only is is like the best place to really do it despite these things can get a little bit uh too sort of inward looking and meta at times but yeah such is life so i think i'm going to wrap it up now thank you very much for watching and um yeah please let me know your thoughts uh, i'll also of course be on mastodon and um yeah i guess i'll link that maybe i mean most people can usually find me but yeah that's about it for me today um i've been chris ware and you've been awesome Toodaloo.